हाय डियर फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम बैक टू अक्षर दारे हैंड देवराज आई होप यू गाइस आर लर्निंग रेट एंड लर्निंग रेज ग्रेट आल्सो फॉलोइंग द टिप्स व्हिच आई हैव गिवन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस एंड आई होप यू गाइस आर रीडिंग द न्यूज़पेपर डेली टू इंप्रूव योर कम्युनिकेशन इन इंग्लिश एंड आल्सो फॉर द point of competitive exams so before going to start the today newspaper reading i would request you guys to please subscribe the channel like and comment if you like the video please share with your friends it may useful for somebody to tell us the opportunities so let's start reading the newspaper the hindu which is very important for the competitive exams so let's start reading this uh, Let's go to the front page. What is Hindi? Is a uh, this is a front page? Whole campaign comes to a close in Telangana. More hostages to be freed. Can't send seven bills for presidential ascent. Share of clean energy in India's power production. It rose from seventeen percent in two thousand to twenty three percent in two thousand twenty two. Maxwell's uh, ten terms going towards Aziz win. Tunnel ordeal ends. Uh, all trapped workers rescued. Uh, they will be kept under observation for forty eight to seventy eight hours. Uttarakhand Chief Minister announces one lakh compensation each. President PM land lord and rescue teams and workers far great perseverance. Contractors uh, submit papers. Madras High Court stays uh, ED summons to five collectors in Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu Minister withdraws uh, petition for medical bill. Shakti smart card under study, online job racket, food dropouts held. SC asks Manipur to ensure last rights of violence victims. Twenty critical mineral blocks to go on sale. CCP officials unearth child sale racket, arrest four. Disruption in power supply. Acharya Institute of Graduate Studies gets an NAC A plus grade. Online jobs scam. Four college dropouts held. With their arrest, the police have solved three not five cases across the country. Doctor loses fifty uh, thousand to cyber fraud. Gang involved in over fifteen hours break thefts arrested. Tax evasion racket unearthed. Two doctors among nine arrested in sex determination racket. One day, Bharat special trying to special trying to run on Wednesdays uh, till December twenty-seven. Tiger captured villagers high heave a sigh of relief. Skin up cattle or tiger. Manek Maneka intervenes amidst uh, amid uh, allegations of testing error. New Krishna Bhavan to shut a shop on December six after nearly seventy years. Shakti smart card under feasibility and study for city to routes. Transport department in collaboration with the Center for E Governance has successfully developed samples of smart card. Says Mr. Pneumonia precautions. Health department issues circular and advisory to public. U.S. farms keen. And investigate investing in Taiwan, Taiwan to third cities of Karnataka. State government troops in Met Meta to train one lakh teachers, ten lakh students in online safety. CM announces nine thousand crore for drinking water facilities in urban local bodies across the state. He inaugurates a municipal ka a trade show and conference on safe, smart, and sustainable cities. What have we built for people 
who have dual capacities so ask penalties panel panelists 59 months gruhalakshmi head offered to goddess chamreshwari a view of the office through jen adjet eyes and india specific adobe future workforce a study note this generation seeks a workplace that would offer them a wise unstinted support uh, from seniors and a quick uh, climb to the top for the six year six percent of the respondents are uh, ranked no clear path to promotion as the number one reason for leaving a job Forty percent commission charge. Contractors submit documents to pro panel. About hundred contractors are planning to depose uh, before the commission. We have been given ten days to submit more documents. Says Kempana. Shiva Kumar meets ailing Dr. Leela Vati. Appointments to board likely after winter session. Bagheer Ukh Bagheer Kumar Cultivation. Tasilda is told to streamline process of regularization. I quote direct says CC to issue form. for declaration of criminal antecedents by candidates or contesting local body polls joint struggle cm to meet activity activists department of mines and geology the promise of heli taxi as a congestion killer can, can it take off again building a new helipad for behind the airport uh, terminal would mean traveling more than 15 minutes by road Not a very attractive prospect for potential passengers. A middle class story on sisterhood, loneliness, and the friendship, along with the three strong female con characters, elements like city sound, traffic, a television serials also play a huge role in the play. French Jesus find an adult address in town. Uh, currently based out of Bengaluru, Valentine Melchoy is uh, is on a mission to create handcrafted cheeses uh, locally that would be entirely organic, wholesome, and are relatable to palates. You <coughs> recreating Rana Valona third's life, a deliciously melodious uh, addition to the city. Poll campaign ends in Telangana. The three-week election hearing concludes with the final shots of charges and counter charges by all parties. Congress asks people to liberate the state from KCR's clutches. Rahul Gandhi and sister Priyanka together join a roadshow in Hyderabad. Revoking note for CBI probe. Ethnal moves to HC against cabinet decision. Kerala governor signs a bill reserves seven for presidential consideration. Do not arrest a street sign till December ends. <clears throat> Unpacking the Dublin uh, Dubai climate meeting. Let's read this editorial page written by a professor. As December draws uh, near, so does the volume and intensity of global conversation around climate change and negotiations. In early December, the twenty eighth annual conference of the parties. Uh, COP twenty eight to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change will take place in Dubai. While climate change diplomacy occurs in multiple fora, including G twenty meetings, a uh, UN summit and bilateral fora, the COP remains the central place where the machinery of global climate governance gets built. Because all countries, not only the powerful, have a voice at COPs. Uh, Uh, questions of equity and vulnerability are more likely to be placed on the table, and what has become a disturbingly familiar pattern, 
2023 has seen devastating weather events. Extreme heat in North Africa and Europe, wildfires in Canada and Hawaii, floods in India and Libya, and drought in the Horn of Africa. By September, scientists were expressing astonishment at how much land and ocean temperatures increases, and the Antarctic sea ice decreases have deviated from past records, likely exacerbated by an El Nino effect. It is likely that 2023 will be the warmest year on record. But long standing disagreement so, what is a fair and equitable approach to addressing climate change? And who will pay? Remain on the boil. To make matters worse, uh, the geopolitical context is not favorable for enhanced cooperation. The US and China have only recently tried to put the brakes on a deteriorating our relationship and the Ukraine war and the horrific situation in Gaza have polarized public opinion and other countries. Diplomats at the COP are tasked then with addressing an ever more urgent problem under challenging conditions for global cooperation. And COPs are an unwieldy instrument with which to manufacture cooperation. They result in a torrent of words that are intended but often fail to unleash the concrete actions. What can we expect from Dubai's COP? A global stock take. At the top of the agenda is the first global stock take, a key part of the Paris Agreement machinery. The GST is at the heart of a five-yearly ambition cycle, which consists of a country's pledges for climate action, a global assessment of progress through the GST, and a renewed country pledges. By assessing aggregate, uh, not individual country, progress in uh, mitigation, adaptation and support, uh, finance, technology and uh, capacity. The GST is meant to, uh, meant to drive the ratcheting, ratcheting, ratcheting up of country pledges. The GST definitely uh, finds, as do other UN and uh, independent reports, that greenhouse gas emission pathways are not on track to limit warming to the Paris targets of 2% degree are 1.5% degree. But the agreement hands the what is to be done about it. Uh, developing countries argue that the GST must look at past efforts and bring accountability for the failure of many developer countries to do. What they argue is consistent with equity. Developer countries argue that developing countries will account for the bulk of future emissions and the GST should focus on limiting emissions are going forward. The outcome of this uh, debate will shape whether the disproportionate responsibility of developed countries for emissions is adequately reflected in future ben benchmarks for action. For example, one way to recognize responsibility is to expect, expect developed countries to reach net zero emissions earlier than developing countries. A core task of the GST is to inform and drive the next round of bottom-up national pledges, national determined contributions mandated by 2025. But should the GST be prospective, prescriptive about this? As some developed countries have argued and all call, and call for pledges to be in specific forms, such as absolute emissions targets and aligned with the specific temperature targets, like 1.4% degree, those arguing for prescription say it is needed to accelerate progress. And there is a catch. Benchmarking a country against a temperature outcome requires prior agreement on what each country can fairly be asked to do so, asked to do to limit emissions. But we have no such agreement because this issue has been at the heart of fraught climate politics. Without it, any benchmarking is arbitrary and risks are not adequately considering equity, which is why developing countries argue against a prescriptive approach. However, the GST not only really calls for greater ambition, it also calls for enhanced implementation of pledges. This is a productive direction because it focuses on actions countries can and should take now versus uncertain future statements of intent of for future decades. To give implementation a concrete form, the COP is likely to include a language that, that calls for countries to triple renewable energy and double energy efficiency. Ideas that were notably included in the recent G20 Delhi leaders declaration. The question of fossil fuels. But not all of this uh, text is agreed. 
particularly contentious is a call for a time bound phase down for the fuel but here the exact phrasing will matter it has been among those advocating a broad focus on all fossil fuel versus a narrow focus on coal alone as was included in prior cops uh, while coal is intended indeed had the most pollute addressing climate change requires addressing all fossil fuel moreover oil and gas are much larger sources of energy in the developed and world and are critical to petro states such as dubai while india depends more on coal and scape has that oil and coal exporters may seek is the addition of the word unabated before fossil fuel to signal that plants using a new technologies to capture their emissions may be allowed uh, giving fossil fuel a longer lease of life the fossil fuel text is likely to be contentious and win at lancet cop 28 adaptation and finance adaptation has often been the neglected dimension of climate negotiations cop 28 is an opportunity to correct this because the global goal, uh, goal and adaptation is to be agreed setting a unified consistent targets for enhancing resilience and adaptive capacity these have proved challenging to frame because of varying the context of across countries and what is required for resilience as with other issues the question of who pays as is also likely to be prominent since the last cop there have been calls for a doubling of adaptation finance an explosive issue is the establishment of a loss and damage fund agreement on which was a hard won gain from the last cop the cop this cop is tasked with advancing progress in a pre negotiation uh, a fragile consensus was won on several thorny issues including who will pay into the fund developed countries are urged and developing countries are encouraged and who will receive the vaguely worded particularly vulnerable countries perhaps most contentious the world bank was agreed has an interim host of the fund but under strict governance guidelines to provide a greater say for recipient countries whether this consensus holds or unravels will be a key issue for cop 28 The GST is careful to call for ambition not only in action but also support for those actions, notably finance. Over a decade ago, developed countries had pledged to provide an arbitrary hundred billion dollar a year by 2020, in addition to the deadline being unmet, and the amount was unlikely to likely to meet needs. By COP28, uh, the discussion has shifted to a concrete assessment of needs to support mitigation and adaptation. with numbers overing in the low trillion coming up with a this number is only a starting point the contentious issues remain around how it will be mobilized mobilized how important is public versus private points will private capital flow in response to efforts to be risk investment opportunities are larger changes in the global financial environment needed including debt restructuring and reform of mul trilateral development banks how can they be brought about as the finance discussion suggests the climate change is now on the menu at the geopolitical and geoeconomic high table the stakes for countries from cops are consequential consequential in terms of climate impacts fossil fuel energy politics and uh, competitiveness in emergent energy technologies all this will be will not be resolved in dubai but it will be an important marker in the slow fan folding up global climate politics time for action cop28 must compel its uh, signatories to take definitive action the challenge of maritime security in the global south uh, is at of the let's read this article mm-hmm. Charles Darwin is reputed to have argued that the key to human survival is not human kind's innate superiority but its natural adaptability. He felt that it is that it was not the strongest or most intelligent species that survived, but the one with the capacity to adapt and adjust to the changing environment. Darwin's notion of resilient adaptability has withstood the test of time. It is a truism that all human progress requires a flexible approach to dealing with emerging challenges none more so than in the maritime domain new threats in the maritime domain 
In recent years, hard security challenges in the maritime domain have acquired a new menacing dimension. Whether that okay, whether with Ukraine's growing use of asymmetrical tactics against Russia and the Black Sea or China's deployment of maritime militias in the South China Sea, there is an unmistakable element of improvisation. The radical new tactics at sea involve the use of <coughs> grey zone warfare, land attack missiles and combat drones. It is in, in, instructive, however, the, that the bulk of the demand for maritime security in recent years has come from the from states facing unconventional security threats such as illegal fishing, natural disasters, maritime mar, marine pollution, human and drug trafficking, and the and the impact of climate change. These are the difficult. These are difficult to fight using only military means. States must instead be uh, instead be prepared to commit uh, capital resources and uh, specialist personnel over prolonged periods to meet the security needs. Throughout uh, its uh, G20 presidency, India has sought to emphasize the concerns of the global South in discussions to find solutions to the most pressing issues in the maritime domain. Yet there is a no functioning template to fight non-traditional threats at sea. Sustainable development goals and the littorals uh, remain unrealized. As voices from uh, littoral states in Asia, Africa and uh, the Southern Pacific are ignored by the developed countries, there is a widespread perception in the Global South that, that the zero-sum competition among the popular nations in the Indo-Pacific has been to the detriment of the developed world, developing world. The contemporary security agenda is an uh, interconnected set of objectives involving niche national environment, economic and human security goals. The cross jurisdictional linkages uh, between these diverse areas make them challenging to mean manage. This phenomenon is uh, particularly pronounced in the global south which finds itself especially challenging, challenged in meeting the objectives of marine governance. What is more, uh, rising sea levels, uh, marine pollution, climate change and natural, dis natural disasters have had a disproportionate impact on less developed states, placing them in a position of vulnerability. Worryingly, electoral states in Asia and Africa have unequal law enforcement capabilities and lack the security coordination they are required to joint jointly combat uh, maritime threats. Many have weighing security priorities and are not only always not always willing to leverage partners' capabilities to combat threats such as piracy, armed robbery and maritime terrorism. Some even uh, resist maritime cooperation with partner nations in a bid to reduce its reliance on foreign agencies. They are willing to share information with uh, such states but only enough to advance uh, common minimum security goals. Creative models. Matam security is more uh, than a matter of hard military action and a low in enforcement. Sea power is increasing, uh, increasingly about uh, generating a prosperity and meeting the aspirations of the people. India's Matam Vision 2030 sets out a creative model. This 10-year blueprint for the Matam sector envisages the development of ports shipping and inhal inland waterways as a way of generating growth and livelihoods. DACA's inaugural official document on the Indo-Pacific lead has guiding principles and objectives that demonstrate a developmental approach to maritime security, focused on the provisioning of goods and services, and the production of marine resources. The talk in Africa, too, is about a thriving blue economy and a secure maritime domain. This does not uh, detract uh, from the enormity of the um, task in the southern seas. In particular, the fight against illegal fishing in Asia and Africa, the sharp uptick, uptick in illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing has been headed by faulty policies that encourage destructive fishing methods such as, an, such as bottom trawling and sea fishing. Environmentalists highlight uh, three specific anomalies lenient regulations that allow for the misuse of resources, lax implementation of the law by security agencies, and the harmful impact of subsidies that states offer to incentivize smaller fishermen to ship to motorized trolley. Among the proposals that set out ways to deal with the maritime challenges, 
is India's Indo-Pacific Oceans Oceans Initiative. It's, it treads on seven pillars including maritime ecology, marine resources, uh, capacity building, uh, disaster risk reduction and maritime connectivity. It acknowledges that countries need a collective solutions to the common problems, especially since they remain economically interdependent. It is to India's credit that the initiative has the support of major Indo-Pacific states. Uh, many from the West uh, no consensus. Even so, implementing a collaborative strategy is uh, challenging since it uh, requires maritime agencies to move improve inter interoperability, share intelligence, and agree on a regional rules-based hard. States must adapt to an integrated form of maritime security operations and overhaul regulatory frameworks to align domestic reg regulation with international law. An unappealing proposition for many that continue to prioritize sovereignty and strategic independence over collective action. Unsurprisingly, consensus eludes the global south, notwithstanding the espoused positions on the need for a cooperative security architecture. Many literal, real literal states are reluctant to pursue concrete solutions to the challenges at sea. It highlights a paradox of non-traditional matter uh, security, the collective issues that are developing nations face and the creative solutions they seek are at odds with their uh, sense of political and strategic autonomy. This is about the climate. Let's go to the next page. Um, why are the Marathas uh, mobilizing now? Vienna state battles power issues uh, from production to shape distribution. There is uh, plenty of ground to cover. Clean energy share in India and its uh, states electricity, electricity, uh, electricity mix. Share of clean energy in India's power production rose from 17% in 2000 to 23% in 2022. After swinging between oak and despair, kin beat easy. The families of the workers who were trapped inside the tunnel had to undergo agony and anxiety in the biting winter cold. They say these were the toughest days of their lives and ask government to ensure that such incidents do not recur. Multi-agency operation yielded results is official. Tunnel ordeal hence all workers rescued. Assist stays ED summons to five collector, uh, collectors in uh, Tamil Nadu. Rat hole miners uh, skill experience come in handy in rescue of workers. Uttarakha, Uttarakashi hotels are busy even in bleak winter season. Israel will restart bombing Gaza once uh, ostrich release a uh, ceasefire and cease in wine. Missing girl found after massive search. The skilled child talking with their with her mother. Vote for change. Sonia Gandhi tells Telangana voters. Congress delegation meets CC reiterates uh, compliant against Modi and Shaw. Party raises issue of alleged tampering of postal ballot ballots by the district electoral official in Mampi. I just poll panel to ensure that uh, BRS does not uh, circumvent uh, restrictions during the silence period. No re-polling for Rajasthan Assembly elections is easy. Party in Mizoram returns uh, surplus campaign fund. Our RS privileges panel to call MPs to present their defense. As the panel submits report on Manipur with them. New teams. India in poll induced hibernation. Joint rally plan remains in fridge. Minister prompts section on EPFO IF pension delay. SC wants government to justify stand on delay, Chief Secretary. So Muslim student strength in IO education fell by 1.79 lakh in 2020 to 21. New code for Anganwadi to track children with disabilities. Nearly 20 lakh individuals took part in which Viksit Bharat Sankalpa Yatra. Ministry. Navy Agnivi Trini found dead in hostel in Mumbai. NASA's Bill Nelson meets Jitendra Singh and discusses a me mission to space station. Greatness of Tulsi leaves. 
యూజువల్లీ పీపుల్ ఆఫర్ ఫ్లవర్స్ అండ్ తులసి లీవ్స్ టు గాడ్ ఇన్ దేర్ వాషిప్ వేలుకుడి శ్రీకృష్ణ స్వామి సెడ్ ఇన్ స్కూల్ దట్ తులసి ఈజ్ ద మోస్ట్ సాక్రేట్ అండ్ ఈ నరేటెడ్ ఇట్స్ అ గ్రేట్నెస్ మెన్షనింగ్ ఇస్ ఫైవ్ ఫైవ్ రీజన్స్ తుల రెఫర్స్ టు బీయింగ్ ఈక్వల్ శాతి ఐ మీన్స్ టు రిమూవ్ తులసి రిమూవ్స్ ఈక్వాలిటీ యాజ్ నథింగ్ కెన్ ఈక్వేట్ ఇట్ తుల్యాం శాతి ఇతి తులసి అనథ అనదర్ మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ శాతి ఈస్ టు రీచ్ ప్లేసింగ్ తులసి లీవ్స్ ఇన్ గాడ్స్ డివైన్స్ ఆర్ట్ రీచెస్ ఇమ్ అండ్ బికమ్స్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఇమ్ టు రెఫర్స్ టు ఏ పేడ్ హార్ విత్ వేరియస్ లసతి రెఫర్స్ టు గ్లిట్ విత్ రేడియేషన్ ద లీవ్స్ క్యాన్ బి అఫోర్డ్ టు గాడ్ ఈవన్ ఇఫ్ పేడెడ్ ఆర్ విత్ హర్డ్ అండ్ దేర్ గ్రేట్నెస్ విల్ నాట్ డిమినిష్ ఇట్ ఈస్ సెడ్ దట్ పీపుల్ షుడ్ నాట్ పిక్ ద లీవ్స్ ఆన్ ట్యూస్డేస్ Fridays, Amavasya, Tuesday. Finn also did not pick the leaves on Tuesday, Fridays. Amavasya and uh, Foo Fathers, Semoni days. But they can be collected the previous days, previous days, previous days and used the next day. Every part of the Tulsi plant is revered and conceived hard sacred. The leaf, stems, roots and even the soil of the roots can be used as they are divine. Offering the leaves with uh, uh, four or eight petals is considered. the most auspicious if one can't get the tulsi leaves simply chanting tulsi name or during place prayers will please the god using tulsi leaves in pujas will heal all the benefits and one can derive its benign blessings illi 11 workers killed less 75 injured in hell elevator accident at platinum mine Russian court accident detention of U.S. journalist Ivan Gershkovich. Philippine government and communist rebels agree to resume peace talks. Chinese Navy uh, ships arrive in Myanmar for holding giant drills. More captives to be briefed as Israel Omar's truce deal extended. Uh, 10 hostages from Gaza and 30 prisoners from Israel will be released. U.S. and Israeli officials discuss the next phase of the deal in Qatar's capital. Suna cancels a meeting with the Greek uh, PM due to row over ancient sculptures. Uh, Xi says uh, China must protect foreign firms rights and IP. NATO to continue harming Ukraine. After Bidan, more war leaders signal with the May skip to COP 28th. Apart from Joe Bidan, Syria's uh, Assad will not attend and Israel's and uh, Netanya whose presence in Dao is doubtful. Sebi is set to plan exiting rules governing MEPS uh, passive funds. Sebi plans to lower capital disclosure requirements for fund houses that run passive schemes. Fund houses to be allowed to hire off a passive schemes to take advantage of loser regulation. Vehicle sales rose 19% in passive season powered by two wheelers. IOC concerns. IOC corner more than a corners more than a third of D6 gas in latest RL action. Bath pay turns EBITDA positive. Revenue surges past 1,500 crore. Both cash use digital payments to rise in a country like India. Government suspends 70 lakh mobile numbers on suspicious activity. Firms unprepared for data demand of AI find survey. Exxon Mobile Lube unit to come and stream by the end 2025. Adani stocks is heavy in heavy demand for after SE reserves report it. Fija Express bets on India's demand for global cousins. Uh, Jaiswal is a shooty in the 2024-2020 World Cup squad. Nair Stadium was quite like a library when coily wicket fell. Comments. Smith uh, Jampa leaves for Australia changes made to squad. Jambia uh, Namibia qualifies for men's T20 World Cup 2024. Maxwell's big show eclipses Guy Quartz turn as Australia stay in the hunt. India hopefuls a uh, chance to parade their metal. Bernard is unfazed as United gets ready for fiery Galatasaray. Free of Hankel pain, uh, Woods excited to play in the Euro War Challenge. Punjab climbs men's title after a marathon shootout. A total of 27 shots were taken by Bihut, managed to deep-thrown Ariana. 
ओस्ट तमिलनाडु बैंक्स द ब्रॉन्च बीटिंग कर्नाटका इन दर्ड प्लेस ऑफ प्ले ऑफ मैच Girona faced to reclaim La Liga top spot. Ras Rushi to compete in the Endurance Championship. Dheeraj Hamisha win recurve bronze in uh, Archery Nationals. <coughs> An all-time eleven when plays drop out, it's a sign of progress. Phillips uh, climbs four as New Zealand strips at Bangladesh. Naga's journey to the top are courageous and impressive. This season, the twenty twenty six year old has shown bright, winning two challenger titles in Tampa and Rome, and reaching four finals. Having seen through a fast pace of his career to come back smiling on the tennis court, Nagal is now expected to break into the top hundred soon. In Gaza, Israel is waging an invisible environmental war. Huge amounts of uh, toxic rat tunnel. Used in thousands of bombs, have polluted the soil and will ultimately wash into fishing areas. Israeli forces have also replaced large numbers of olive olive trees uh, with pine trees that render the soil hostile to cultivation. Prejudice is a prejudicial Israel control of clean water completes a picture of utter deprivation for Gazans. The first month after the conflict began, a rights group had recorded that Israel dropped more than twenty-five thousand tons of explosives on twelve thousand plus targets in the Gaza Strip. It's too bad. Text and context. This is the last page, guys. Last two pages. A sudden jump in the stocks of Adani Total Gas, twenty in percentage. Investments by point portfolio investors in India and debit market. The number of deaths due to tobacco every year in uh, France. Anti-Semitic uh, Semitic incidents were recorded in adjoining Germany after October seven. The number of mine workers killed in South Africa eleven. The need to disclose the uh, political donations. Uh, the amendments made to the made to the representations of the People Act of nineteen uh, People Act nineteen fifty one and other laws which provide for electoral bonds provide complete anonymity to political donors. However, the requirement hall who The word "hand" is a hue, and the other hand has been the diametrical opposite. IBS latest move to increase the risk weights for lending. What are risks? Uh, risk of weight uh, weights and why are they being increased? How will it be? Will it affect non-banking financial companies? Reading Edward said in the backdrop of the Israel Hamas war. In our university campuses, a particular rendition of Edward said finds a persistent mention. He is he yeah, he is admired and criticized as a professor at Columbia University. However, there is another said who fashions himself himself as an amateur intellectual. A said who is an abysmally Palestinian. A quick journey. A C. Ah, possibly not that hard. It's a Genesis on number twenty nine, nineteen and ninety nine. This is the last page, guys. Uh, continue reading for the two hours to make you better in English communication. I'm sure you will be very good in English communication if you are daily practicing the English uh, newspaper reading. So, if you like, uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe the channel, like and comment. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and uh, some other would. We are looking for the opportunities. See you in the upcoming videos. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, re uh, keep reading the newspaper daily two hours minimum. And see you in the upcoming videos, guys. Have a great day. Bye bye. Take care.